Hey everyone, welcome back to Ragtag Stacking. Uh, in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about another package that has come in today. And this one contains the uh, the Type 2 American Silver Eagles that I ordered. Uh, now, I did a survey uh, a couple of uh, on the weekend just because uh, I knew that these were going to be coming in soon or early on this week. And I asked uh, what your thoughts were on the new design. And uh, the um, you know there wasn't a lot of love for it as you can see uh, there wasn't as much hate as I thought there was going to be but a lot more people were just indifferent they didn't care either way on the change which you know for the U.S. Mint that's not really what they're aiming for they they would like a lot more people to be uh, liking this coin or loving this coin than just kind of saying eh it is what it is you know what I mean. For me, I'm indifferent. I don't really uh, care for either design uh, strongly either way, whether it's the old design here or the new Type 2. It's not something that keeps me up at night. Uh, it's not the designs that I would have picked. I'll get into that in a second. But yeah, I'm just going to get in right into it here, showing off the uh, the new Type 2. And I'm going to start with the, uh, the obverse. The obverse has some changes as well. The reverse has been getting all of the attention, obviously, because it's much more of a design change than some of the changes that happened on the obverse. But there you go. That's the brand new Type 2 American Silver Eagle Reverse. And there you go, just a comparison of the two. Uh, and like I said before, showing the uh, showing the, um, the result of the poll there that uh, a lot of people were indifferent to the change. I have heard some people saying that they didn't really care for this design either. And uh, you know what I mean? So it's uh, it's up in the air a little bit on uh, the uh, whether people like this design or not. But uh, for me, I am on the record as saying this before. I would have preferred if they just would have went with the Walking Liberty half dollar. Now, obviously, they did go with the Walker for the obverse there, but uh, I think the uh, the one ounce bullion uh, American Silver Eagle would have been perfect if this was the reverse on it. If they had a modernized version of this, and you know what I mean, all the definition they could have come out with this eagle. Uh, you know, this is pretty slick. It's from what is it, 1943. Yeah, I think that would look really, really nice uh, on a modern coin. And, uh, you know, that, that would have been my pick, but it wasn't one of the, uh, the 39 choices that were given for the, uh, for the new design there. But uh, I think that would have been an awesome thing that they would have done. But that's just me. Okay, so there's the uh, four of the American Silver Eagles that I ordered, and I'm going to hold the fifth one here just to go over some of the uh, some of the design details that have changed a little bit on the obverse as well. Now I'm going to put up a piece of uh, just a thumbnail here or a screenshot that I took that goes over a list of some of the uh, some of the changes there. And like you can see, they have a lot of things that say you know reduced definition or you know they've taken away from some of the finer details they like on the uh, the gown there and uh, I think they said like the fingertips up there have been less defined and the sandal that's on the heel there and another big thing that they did uh, as they said as a security feature I suppose is the uh, the little reeded edge there there's one of the reeds was left out and uh, it's down there and some people have shown like a black light on here there's nothing special about this space it's just a reeded edge that they left out and i think that's because uh you know the, uh, all the things that they added there like that mark and some of the other things that they added on the back here like another kind of not privy mark but another ms mark um you know what i mean they did need to change the die to add in those things there and they didn't add in you know they're not adding in any more silver or anything like that so you know they need to repurpose somewhere on the coin to get the you know to get that mark there and to change up some of the lettering or some of the numbers down there are slightly bigger so uh, they need to i guess with the dies take out some of the definition on the gown and stuff like that to repurpose just that little small amount of silver needed to create that mark so i don't know for sure if that's why they took the reeded or that little reed out there is because they need to to repurpose a little bit of that silver to put into some of the added features in here uh, but for me if that is the case and obviously they needed to repurpose some silver for some of the designs uh, i would have kept the definition 
on here. I wouldn't have made anything less defined and I wouldn't have messed with the dye to try and, you know, take some silver out of just that little little more def little less definition and stuff like that. What I would have preferred is if they would have taken out more of these reeded edges. Whether it's like four right down here and then, you know, it'd be a bigger space there where they could actually put like a hologram or some sort of security feature because this is just an empty slot, an empty space there. Uh, but if they needed more silver to, to disperse around this coin, uh, I would have preferred them taking it more out of that reeded edges there than uh, taking the definition out of the obverse. Because yeah, that's just, you know what I mean? That's just, uh, that's really not a security feature. I can, I don't know how difficult this would be to replicate on, uh, you know, a fraudulent or a counterfeit coin. Uh, but yeah, that, that, that would have been my idea if they needed to get, uh, you know, that little bit more silver to add to some of the uh, additional features on here. I would have maybe said take one more or two more of these uh, reeds from the edge and uh, repurpose it instead of uh, kind of dulling and matting and kind of taking away from the definition of the, the Walking Liberty there. But yes, I am very happy that I finally got these in. Uh, you know what I mean? A, an American Eagle is an American Eagle. I've, I do like them. I like the uh, the matte finish on them. Uh, I know that the Maple Leafs and all those ones are shinier with the radial lines. I do like this sort of uh, matte uh, sort of finish that the American Eagles have. And I like the bigger diameter, you know, the 40.6. Uh, so I do really like the American Silver Eagle coins. It's just, uh, you know, a, a little disappointed with the, the change. Since they were going to be making a change to the coin uh, obviously my preferences and what I think is uh, you know would be nice on a coin is different from other people uh, but it seems like the vast majority of people are either you know whatever kind of met on the coin or you know dislike it uh, because there's a uh, from the poll that I showed it was from a couple of days and only about a 300 some odd people voted uh, only 17 percent of people said that they actually uh, loved the coin so uh, there are there is room for improvement I don't know if the the US mint is looking to uh, you know get some feedback from the general public or the customers that bought the coin and if they're going to be making uh, looking to make some tweaks or some changes uh, in the next years the 2022 or anything like that I don't know what their plan is uh, but as far as the uh, rollout of the new American Silver Eagle um, I actually got the type 2 for way less than what the type 1 2021s were still selling on the site I bought them from it was about four bucks cheaper so uh, you know I was pretty happy with that for me, I don't need to be picking up 2021 American Silver Eagles. I'm fine with uh, if they have a random year option. I'm okay with that. I have some 1990s in here, some 98s, some 2012s, 2017. So I'm fine with the random year. And uh, it's not like, as I said, it's not like I'm ecstatic about this new reverse and I need to get to you know tube after tube of these Type 2s whatever if I, if in a random order some type twos come in that'd be great but uh, i'm fine with just getting uh, you know some random 2006s or 2014s you know what i mean but let me know down in the comment what you think about the new type twos uh thank you if you did vote if you did uh, happen to see that post that i put in the community section i do appreciate you voting on the question uh but yeah let me know in the comments what you guys think about the new type two whether you're uh one of the 17 percent that loved it 20 percent that hated it or like me in that uh, va the the majority of 60 percent that are you know indifferent to the change you know they don't really love it but they don't really hate it anyways thank you so much for watching uh and i uh, hope you come back for the next one thank you